Oh, hello there. I'm Bill Chan. I'm Nimikong. I'm Ben Chan. In this class, I'll read to all of you. Chapter 1, Section 6 of The Laird of Omar. S. Oh. The Laird of Homer. Theodora Warbuckley. Chapter 1, Section 6. To nearly threats my son. To great impus ground with fleecy snow. Maintain. Secure within thy ships. Behold the field. Not mingle in the war. The sire of gods and all the ethereal train. On the warm limits of the farthest mind. Now mix with mortals. The feast of Theopia's blameless race. Twelve days the powers indulge the genial rite. Returning with the twelfth revolving light. Then will I mount the brazen dome. The goddess spoke. The rolling waves unclose. Then down the steep she punched from whence she rose. And left him soaring on the lonely coast. In wild resentment for the fair he lost. In Christ's port now sage Ulysses rode. Beneath the deck the distant victim stood. The sails they felt. They lashed the mast aside. And dropped their anchors. And the pinnace died. Next on the shore their Hecatum they land. Cries last descending on the strand. Aye. Thus returning from the furrowed main. Ulysses led to the sacred fane. Where at his solemn altar. He gave to Crises. Thus the hero said. Hail. Reverend priest. A suppliant I from great Atreides come. On Monsumt. Here we see the spotless fair. Accept the Hecate and the Greeks prepare. And may thy guard who scatters darts around. Attend by sacrifice. At this. The sire embraced the maid again. So sadly lost. So lately sought in vain. Then near the altar of the darting king. Disposed and rank their Hecate and they bring. With water purify their hands. The sacred offering of the salted cake. While thus with arms devoutly raised in air. And solemn voice. The priest directs his prayer. God of the silver bowl. Thy ear incline. Whose power in circles slow the divine. Whose sacred eye thy tender surveys. And God's fair chrysa would distinguish rays. A uh, fire to vengeance at thy priest's request. Thy direful darts inflict the raging pest. Once more it end. Avert the wasteful woe. And smile propitious. So cries is prayed. Apollo heard his prayer. And now the Greeks there hecate and prepare. Between their horns the salted barley threw, and uh, with their heads to heaven, the victims slew. The limbs they sever from the enclosing hide, the thighs, selected to the gods, divide on these, in double calls evolved with art. The choicest morsels lay from every part. The priest himself before his altar stands and burns the offering with his holy hands. Pours the black wine and sees the flames aspire. The youth with instruments surround the fire. The thighs the sacrificed and entrails dress. The assistants part. Translates and voice the rest. 
Then spread the tables. The repast prepare. Each takes his seat. And each receives his share. When now the rage of hunger was reversed. With pure libations they conclude the feast. These would wind the copious goblets crowned. And then. Pleased. With hymns divine the joyous banquet ends. The pans length until the sun descends. The Greeks. Restored. The grateful notes proem. Apollo listens. And approves the sun. Twas night. The chiefs beside their vessel lie. Till rosy morn had purpled o'er the sky. Then launch. And hoist the mast. Indulgent gales. Supplied by bus. Full the swelling sails. The milk white canvas billowing as they blow. The parted ocean foams and roars below. But both the bonding below is swift they flew. Till now the Grecian camp prepare in view. For on the beach they hold their rock to land. Then part. We're stretched along the winding bay. The ship's intense and mingled prospect lay. Bright raging still. The stern Achilles. Steadfast in his hate. Nor mixed in combat. Nor in council joined. But wisdom cares lay heavy on his mind. In his black thoughts revenge and slaughter all. And scenes of blood rise dreadful in his soul. Twelve days were past. The gods had summoned to the Olympian height. Jove. First ascending from the watery bars. Leads the long order of ethereal pours. Un. Like the morning mist in early day. Rose from the flood the daughter of the sea. And to the seats divine her flight addressed. There. Far up off, And high above the rest. The thunderer sat. His hundred heads in heaven. And props the clouds. Suppliant the goddess stood. Beneath his beard, and one his knees embraced. If it all, O Father of the gods, my words could please thee, or my actions aid. Some marks of honor on my son bestow, and pay in glory what in life you owe to life so short, and now Dishna too. Avenge this wrong, or ever just and wise. Let Greece be humbled, and the Trojans rise. The steady spoke, the sacred counsels of his breast concealed. Not so repulsed, the goddess close oppressed, still grasped his knees, and urged the dear request. O sire of gods and men, to be continued.